Welcome back everybody, this is Spotlight Guy, and today I want to go over how to unroot your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. As you can see, well, once I bring it up here, I am rooted. I have Super User somewhere around here. There it is. I'm rooted. I am using cal Calculens. Here you go. Calculens E4 GT ROM version 2.8.1. I, I flashed the lost kernel on there. So yeah, definitely rooted. And I'm going to provide this link of uh, the download you need to make in my the description of this video. It's going to bring you to, yet again, XDA developers. And this is from SF uh, Hub. So make sure you thank him for this. And uh, it's, see, as you can see, it's Odin stock. It's the TAR for SPH D710. And it's the EKO2. So this is going to put EKO2 on your phone. Uh, the modem, kernel, ROM, it can be completely factory restored. Just the uh, same way as you bought it when you uh, got it from the store. Alright, so once you get to this page, you're going to scroll down. It's going to have a list of directions right here. Uh, make, make sure you install your Samsung USB drivers. And if you've watched my videos before, then you have already have those downloaded. So if you don't, they have a link right there. Then download the EKO2 Factory Restore One Click Self Extractor. Now I have two different options. You can download this uh, link, and that this will reset your user data. You can download this one, and this will preserve user data. Now, the difference between the two is if you just want to go to Factory Restore, nothing's wrong with your phone. You just prefer to start from scratch, or just uh, begin again, or you liked the EKO2, just factory settings better then go to uh, preserve user data and now if you have something wrong with your phone if you were flashing a ROM or a kernel and something happened you're you're bricking your phone you don't know what's going on then you want to reset your user data because something is wrong there you had a bad ROM bad kernel you either you might have flashed them wrong either way if something's really wrong with your phone you want to download this one so you can click on mirror one on reset user data or mirror one on preserve user data or whichever one works for you while those are downloading make sure you have 7-zip installed and once you have uh, 7-zip or any other kind of uh, extractor but mostly everybody likes to use 7-zip then you're going to extract the package and then uh, once it's all extracted I'll show you what it looks like You're going to have the Odin OC folder once you extract this. See that little 7-zip icon? This is what I had first when I first downloaded it. I extracted it, and then Odin OC came up. You're going to double-click on that, then double-click on the program. All right, now that's it for the computer right now. Now you're going to go back to your phone, and you're going to, oh, excuse me, you're going to turn it off. Now, I could just, because I have this uh, certain ROM flashed on my phone, I could just go to uh, download mode, but I'll show you how to do it by doing it the old-fashioned way. So we're shutting down right now. And what you're going to look for is, even when the screen's black, if the lights are still on on the bottom, then your phone is still on. So we're going to wait until these lights are uh, off which they are now. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold volume down and power button. Once you see that first screen flash, let go. All right, warning. And this is just giving you like, hey, if you download something stupid, then you're gonna mess it up. So volume up to continue. Now you're in downloading mode. And remember, before you do this, make sure you make an Android backup or use titanium backup or titanium recovery and then use that just make a backup just in case something goes wrong alright so you're in download mode connect your USB cord 
to your phone. And if you have your drivers connected and you are in download mode, then you'll get something like that. Alright, what you're going to do, once you have this, it says COM, a number, it won't be the same exact as mine possibly, it could be, but as long as it shows that it's connected, you are going to hit start. Now we just got to go through the process. So you see, once uh, once it picks up a little bit, and you are it's actually like running through the process. You'll have a little blue bar down here for your status. Just same way how you're gonna have a little status bar up here. Now I I forget how long this takes, so. I'm going to get off here, and then once I, I'm close to being done with this process, then I'll be back. Alright. Now if you're watching, it said reset. The box is blue. It said Reset in black letters and then straight to pass. And then on your phone, something like this should be happening. Wiping cache, updating uh, application, it's reset to phone. So now, at this time, you can unplug it. And then we're going to go to boot it up. It should be booting up automatically. Yep, there's the factory. Uh, boot screen now if everything was correctly done then this will be just as how I bought it I'll have no apps on there that I didn't uh, that I've downloaded before no more super user nothing so the first time you do this uh, it, it'll might it might take a little while to boot up Shouldn't take too much longer, just a little longer than usual though, because it's basically like the first time startup. All right, I felt a little vibration in the phone, lights are coming on. There we go. All right, I'm preparing SD card. Yep, if you noticed how my screen looked before uh, we did this, completely different. Let's go to applications. No super user, all that sprint bloatware that nobody really enjoys. Settings, about phone, kernel version, SPH D710 EKO2, and build number, gingerbread EKO2. So you are unrooted, you are back, back to factory settings, you are back to starting from scratch. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then uh, leave a comment and uh, like it. Or if you don't, if you didn't really enjoy the video too much, then just give me some sort of feedback. Comments are always welcome. Uh, I do read through them. I try to respond uh, every chance that I get. Uh, I have it sent directly to my phone, so I know exactly when someone comments. So. Uh, yeah, if you really like all my videos and you want to keep up to date with any new things I put up, subscribe. Until next time, this is Spotlight Guy, signing off.